Hey buddies and Victor, it's time to the near the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Monday, Mosh Pit. Hope you had a great start to your brand new week here. I know I did because we did have another video over the weekend, crossed 3,000 likes, which puts us now only 19 away from TM Trainer Month. And just as a quick reminder, it doesn't mean that we're doing an entire month of TM Trainer runs every single day. It just means one a week. Probably going to be on like Tuesday or Thursday just because the T's line up with the alliteration and all the, you, you, you know what I mean. So here's your today's meme of the day. <laughs> This was this was inevitable here. Brought to you by Dat Deer Brado. Title thread was I told you Isaac's heart saved my grandpa. Episode 989. Lieutenant can join Corporal Isaac's heart saving grandpa in the war. I don't I just I I know I set myself up for this, but every time it happens, I'm just I'm not surprised, but I'm also sort of surprised that it happens. Thank you very much, Dat Deer Brado. Everyone uploaded that one on the Invictus subreddit, which, of course, you can go submit your own memes of the day. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Eh. it's not not phenomenal. Uh, Kilo X-ray one Yankee two Yank or seven Yankee two Delta. Uh, well, I mean, it's 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 something, I guess. I mean, we do have Pyromaniac, uh, which is going to give us a heal every time, every single time we get hit by an explosion. It also makes us, of course, immune to explosions. Uh, but our 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 stats are, are, are not good. Just not great. Um, we, of course, are also starting with five bombs because we started with Pyromaniac, brother. Uh, and we can do this. As you saw right there, we actually heal for half of a heart when we get hit by an explosion. Now, obviously, we're going to be looking for something like, say, I don't know, bomb upgrades, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, anything like that. Maybe even Kamikaze. That would be cool. What if we got the What if we got the immortal combo from floor one. Well, you probably already know because I would have put it in the thumbnail probably, but you, you, I mean, you never know. I don't know. Now, I'm recording this live. I just, I just I have no idea. Kind of makes me miss the days of doing a RimWorld series where like I was legit like always wanting to see what would happen for the emergent storylines and everything. And then, you know, I, then I get to kind of just, I get to relive them all when I go back and watch like the old RimWorld series. I'm like, oh, what happened to, what happened to NL? What, what's it going to do? Or, you know, from world of course also uh, just announced that they're gonna have another expansion which should be pretty cool from world just one of the best games ever um i mean we can get that heart maybe but obviously we're gonna be looking for sack rooms as well it's another fantastic way to kind of get some value out of pyromaniac here early on yeah we need we need some tears need some tears need some movement speed the same old same old damage is also really really lacking right now the thing that we're hurting for the most of is definitely tears so if we end up getting consolation prize or something like that we can maybe okay, maybe get something un incredible happening you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna hit the reset button on that one because uh, there was too many spiders let's try this again try it again there we go that's way better and we get our bombs back uh, looking for the secret rooms, probably in the elbow of the L room below us, but I do want to go into the item shop. We're also starting with the box of spiders, which does exactly what it's described as. It's just a box of spiders. It will give you a, is it a random amount? It's four to eight. Yeah. Four to eight blue spiders. And you know, if you have a high amount of base damage, they can be worthwhile to use against bosses and stuff. It's not something you should really hold on to. It does go great with a uh, car battery though. So if we can get something like that, then we could definitely be cooking. Um, but obviously again, our main, our, our main source of, of, Ooh, is going to be something to the effect of having the, uh, uh of having any kind of explosive damage as, as our weapon. So we get. This is tough because we have four and a half volt here, but we also also have um, compost. Now, both of those combined could make for an interesting combo. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get the funds. There has to be something amazing in here. And there's not. We might be able to get one nickel off of one of the penny-eyed keepers here. That's about it. Well... With the amount of hearts that we have, we have no more bombs, unfortunately, but the swallowed penny on top of the, the temperance machine in the super secret room might get us there. It might get us to both four and a half volt and the compost, the half price compost. So it's important that we don't take any damage here against baby plum, but you know that we're going to pro mo most likely going to probably maybe. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a long, 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 long fight here because again, our stats are really not all that great. Um, and 
you got to be careful of shooting her while she's charging. I mean, any little deviation in the in the trajectory of all while she's flying around all over the place is going to get you hit. And uh, the only reason why I don't want to get hit here on top of just I don't want to take damage, obviously, but it's because that's going to be one less tap that we can get on the temperance machine for this four and a half volt compost play. Now, compost is an item that we haven't really had a lot of fun with in a very long time. Um, and I don't honestly know if the fly damage and spider damage counts towards four and a half volt. Actually incredible that we haven't been hit yet, especially with this movement speed. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here. I'm just saying it's, I, I would have fully expected with 0.95 movement speed, we would have gotten lit up by now. That was a great block by the poop pile there. Things you can always say in Isaac. Ooh, she almost got us. Very end. Okay, so I'm going to not take that yet because it's going to heal us for a heart anyway. Okay, so we can absolutely get four and a half volt and the compost now. So this ha this has me this has me kind of intrigued, and also this is going to get us to the point where we can use the uh, compost immediately right after uh, using box of spiders. So go down to one heart. I want to go down to a half heart because again, I I do worry about the survivability of this run early on here with these bad base stats. But again, we can well, so what we can do is we can use, we can do that. We can do that, do that, and sure, we can buy ourselves a bomb here. Why not? And then what we can do is we can drop the pill. There's actually another. There's actually another trinket that we can drop in there as well. We we basically want to drop stuff on the ground right now, so we get the most uh, things that we can turn into spiders and flies. And remember, every time you use compost, not only does it recycle everything that's on the ground, but also doubles the current amount of flies and spiders that you that you are holding on to. So this should get us a pretty decent amount of spiders, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll take that. I'm gonna say no to Sister Maggie. And uh, of course, getting orphan socks would be very, very, very cool, but we're not gonna be able to do that. And uh, we can get one more heal here, actually. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bomb myself next to the beggar as well as the temperance machine. Yeah, there we go. So we get our we, we get ourselves a rotten heart, which is going to act as our kind of pseudo soul heart, although those those maggots did just take up a whole bunch of our spiders. But here's the hoping that uh, four and a half volt helps us. So I'm going to Pay close attention to the charges. Okay, so the spiders, the spiders and flies definitely do contribute towards the damage uh, that four and a half volt can recharge with, and that's that's good to know. So if we get high enough base damage, we potentially could hold on to this combo here for a while. Um, compost and four and a half volt. Now that being said, we're going to need help. We still need help with stats. We still need to make sure that we're dealing more damage uh, with our with our base stats because obviously it's going to scale that's going to affect how our uh, flies and spider scale which then in turn affects how fast we can recharge which you know etc etc it's gonna it's a self-perpetuating spider fly combo that we have here with the four and a half volt we just need to get more stats at this point we get ourselves a key and there's a shop and an item room here definitely down for backstabber These are not not great. I mean, a half price a half price deck of cards is not terrible, um, but I can see this combo potentially getting out of control if we manage to deal enough damage in every single room to get compost to proc multiple times. That's about the only way that this is going to work. The way that I wish it do. So this is kind of one of those plays where it's like early on, it's not going to scale very well, but over time, if we do, if we continue to improve our stats, uh, we will be able to to start really pushing the boundaries of uh, broken here. That was a very okay. All right. Amazing how those shots go straight for the door. We lose not one, but both of our Rotten Hearts right before the boss, and now our Devil Deal is in jeopardy. And that's right there is the whole reason why I said I do not 
want to go down to a half heart here. Yes, we could get a couple extra pennies, but at what cost? Literally, death is the cost. We would have died there, so... Yeah. This is going to be a lot trickier now, especially against Monstro with bad movement speed and bad tears. The backstabber obviously is going to help out. You saw the scaling damage there really supercharged uh, compost. So, I mean, it's going to work hand in hand. You see there are all the procs from backstabber just give a nice little boost to uh, to compost charge thanks to four and a half volts. The scaling damage that backstabber does. This is sort of secondary right now. We, we, we are not concerned about about dealing damage with compost. We're trying to preserve our devil deal. Because we're definitely going to need it for this combo to work. Okay, so we're able to get it. And this has to give us a tears up. And it does. It gives us a bomb as well. I think it was power and it can be conception. Do you ever shoot at me again? I don't like... I don't not like either one of these. I mean, we have a good we have a good synergy here with money equals power, um, and swallow penny, and then that also that also plays into the Cambian Conception play. It's not the it's not the perfect devil deal. I, I would have much preferred anything that gave us piercing shots, something that would have give, given us an increase of base damage that wasn't money equals power. Not that there's anything wrong with money equals power, of course, but this is just not. It's not what I would have preferred to see our, in our first devil deal. We we could have we could have gotten so much better, uh, but we did get a we did get a tears upgrade at least and a slight damage upgrade thanks to money equals power. So, you know, if we do happen to take damage from something, we can at least also start contributing towards uh, Cami Conception, which is fine. But in order for us to really start balling out of control here with uh, compost, we have to be able to protect our flies and spiders and also activate it multiple times. That's the only way that compost is, will work and will, has ever worked in uh, in rebirth and repentance. So here's to hoping. You know we're trying to do something cool here. We'll see if the game wants to play ball. And we still have, I mean, we still have a little bit of coolness factor going on right now with pyromaniac. It at least ensures that as long as we have a bomb, we will never ever die. We get a soul heart here, which is definitely something that we want. I think that we will just head on down here. I don't know where the secret room is. It could be here. Let me go double check this real quick here. It could definitely be here. Yeah, so as you see there, it heals beyond. <laughs> Well, if we needed damage, we got damage, baby. And we also have a lot of HP to work with now, especially if we get a, de a demon judgment, especially, especially if we get a temperance machine. Binge Eater is going to pull us through. It's been a while since we have Binge Eater. I know that not everyone likes Binge Eater, and uh, too bad, because it's a great item. It's one of my favorite items, and it's just really, really, really strong, especially with Pyromaniac. Now, on top of all that, it's an item that we desperately need right now for stats. So I'm not going to apologize for taking items that appear in the game. People who get all uppity about, oh, God, it's a boring item. I feel like at this point, they should probably play something else because you're, you're not having fun with the game. Try to have a little bit of fun. Binge Eater is fantastic for us. It's going to give us a temporary damage up every time we get an HP upgrade. On top of that, it's going to ensure that we always get an HP upgrade because it's going to give us the Binge Eater pedestal, uh, which is going to allow us to, if if we don't get something that we want, we can at least turn it into, well, an HP upgrade. Um, the thing about Binge Eater is that it is, it will give you, essentially it gives you everything that you need on a run without ever having to take other items. And that's the reason why some people just don't like it because like it's boring. And I mean, I understand that mentality, but I, again, I'm gonna take an item if it shows up, especially if it's something that we need. 
you know, same with Mom's Knife, same with Brimstone, that sort of stuff. If it if it's going to help us win, I'm going to take it. And this is one of those situations where Binge Eater is going to tank our movement speed, but that is something that we can recover with. Oh man. Okay, so look at this. So we get car battery, or we get um, jumper cables here. Now the jumper cables are also going to contribute greatly to the recharging compost. So we we definitely we we be cooking here, y'all. Can't breathe. That was I thought for sure we we're gonna get hit by that. So movement speed is going to be uh, it, it it is now permanently going to be bad. But, but what we gain with Binge Eater is we, we essentially become immortal. Um, every item pedestal is at least going to have an HP upgrade and a massive red heart heal. And on top of all that, also, also going to give us a random stat up, a permanent stat up at that. Gonna go into the super secret room and we'll get a super secret eternal heart. I know that we're going to the boss right now, so I'm going to double back and see if we can go find the item room. The jumper cables will give us a charge on our space for item every single time we kill 15 enemies. So every 15th enemy, we will gain half of a charge on compost. And if we can get that rolling along with our damage here to proc with four and a half volt, we are looking real good. So you just saw the pip go up right there. Um, thanks to the the jumper cables. But the thing is that if we have a partial charge already, it will not give us like the partial charge plus plus one half of a charge for compost. It will only go up to the first to the nearest pip. It's either gonna go halfway or, or all the way. You're seeing right now we are just we're not able to we're not able to keep our, our flies and stuff safe yet. I mean, Leech could be pretty good here with us needing damage. Like, Binge Eater is going to give us damage as well, but Leech allows us to also heal. So, in the case of, of us not having enough HP to heal, or enough bombs to heal with, Leech can help us out with that. So, we have, a, we have some potential here for some really cool stuff. Now, that being said, I'm not I'm definitely not married to compost. If we find something better than compost like shoop to whoop or sulfur or anything, I'm going to take that as well. Um because as much as I do love compost, it is still kind of a kind of a doo-doo item. You got to you have to have rapid recharges. And I'm talking about 9 volt, I'm talking about 4 and a half volt, nun's habit ways to game the system in order for you to, to get maximum number of charges as fast as possible. And keeping your spiders and flies safe is is part of the thing, is you wanna, you wanna be building on that. But also, also being able to double them and double them and double them to the point where you have that critical mass. So, so you're, you're, not, you're not spending, you're not losing as many spiders and flies as you're gaining them. In order for you to get that, you have to have tons of flies though. And lots of damage because they need to be able to kill stuff. All right, Leech. Now I'm not gonna lie, you took up one of our binge eater pedestals, so I need you to get in there and perform. We need you making the big time plays, son. That was a weird bounce. Other do not want to lose this eternal heart. I'll be very upset if we do lose this eternal heart. But the good thing about binge eater is that we will always have a damage upgrade, no matter what. And that's exactly what we need. We need damage tiers. Movement speed obviously is a given, but also given the fact that we have binge eater, we are going to be hurting for a movement speed for this entire run. Unless we get Libra. Hextabber definitely helps. We need tiers. So this is going to give us 
a tears up as well as a uh, as well as an HP container. So not perfect, but we're getting somewhere. Here at 17 minutes on Flooded Caves 2. Not, not going to be breaking any speed run records. This is, this is what, uh, this is what a, a very bad base stat start looks like here. But again, we have the potential here. That's the whole point. Now we can do something that is very, very cool here. Oh yeah, Pyromaniac makes us immune to fire. Never mind. Just kidding. I was going to say what we can do is we can hurt ourselves in the fire and get into the boss trap room and then instantly heal all that back with binge eater. If there was something that we didn't like, but we can't do that because it, well, we, we can't get in there. We would have to hurt ourselves deliberately. And the only way to do that is by running into spikes for the curse room, which we have not seen yet. And this is an excellent opportunity to get another binge eater pedestal there. So you see it. Boosting up our damage a lot. Now you're going to really see the potential here for four and a half volt to take off. All we need to do is be able to just continually recharge it over and over and over again while maintaining our fly count. Cricket smelter and uh, the school bag, which is not terrible, but not exactly what we're looking for. I mean, I would take school bag, but remember, 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 we're also kind of tied to our damage with money equals power, so... is going to be towards the boss. I can already feel it. Getting a sack room would be nice. And you're seeing how f it, it doesn't take long for the binge eater buff to wear off for your damage. So you've got to really move it, move it. And uh, it's a difficult to do when you've got 0.89 movement speed, obviously. No, we don't. I mean, hairpin's cool because, like, obviously we're going to be able to get a full charge on our space for item as soon as we walk to the boss room. But... It's not better than... I mean, we could do it, I guess. But Swallow Penny is just so much better for this build because of money equals power. Um, and on top of that, we're going to have a butt ton. And I mean a metric butt ton of red of red heart HP. So that we can convert very quickly to money and give us instant boosts. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the curse room. And I think what we do is we do this. Now remember, this is also going to activate uh, Cammy and Conception. Okay, so we got Demon Baby. There we go. We don't want to go any further than that because obviously we would die. And then let's go check out the boss trap room. If there's something in there that we don't like, we just simply take the binge eater. Oh, that's definitely something we like here. Definitely need a movement speed. Now we do have to be careful, obviously, because we're on one HP. But with Leech and Demon Baby, I think we're going to be okay. I hope we're going to be okay. Very weird animation pause there from uh, from demon from the uh, demon baby. The rematch here between us and Bighorn. If we needed to heal ourselves off the explosions, we can just simply do this, obviously. So it's not a bad, it's not a, it's not a good matchup for, for Bighorn. It's a great matchup for us. Get a Bomba. Have some hearts here. Still looking for our item room. Definitely a slow roll of a run here. 21 minutes and uh, we're still on caves too. I would, I would desperately would love to see this compost play, like, pay off here. I really do. I really hope it does. Do I think it's going to? No. Because compost is just, it's so hard to get rolling. It would need to exactly quadruple the amount of things that you have, like spiders and flies, in order for it to, to be sustainable. Which means you need car battery. Like, you just straight up need car battery. I'm going to take Binge Eater, but I'm going to wait till we tap the Sack Room. There's a double heart up there, too, which is kind of nice. A Nickel, which, again, is going to contribute towards money equals power here, which is great. Take that. 
Take that. We got a random chest. Let's go back up here. Take the binge eater pedestal that's going to heal us three HP on top of giving us another HP upgrade. Now we can't go. We cannot safely get the those that double heart right there without losing our angel deal. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take Binge Eater just to give us a heal. Pro bombs don't matter. And that's good. I mean, either way, it's it's going to pay off for us because we get either we either get damage or we get a lot of HP. And Soul Hearts, the the value of Soul Hearts quickly diminish because of because of the presence of Binge Eater. Um, we can do so much more with Red Heart HP right now. I mean, so much more. Um, us getting, like, IV bag, us getting, I mean, anything. Like, even Temperance Machine uh, and uh, Blank Card would be amazing. So I am going to take the school bag, just in, just in case we get something crazy. I'm not going to be even carrying that card in our inventory, because it's just literal, literal suicide. Um, and honestly, we could probably take Smelter here. We are losing a lot of damage. Uh, but now this freezes this freezes up to take another trinket with trinket smelter. I'm down with that. We did hurt all of our damage there. We can actually smelt uh, the hairpin, which is always going to give us a full charge when we go into a boss room. I'm definitely down for that. Okay, we're going to swap to compost because this is this is the one that we want to recharge before trinket smelter, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our damage is now starting to starting to pick up, and we're going to take surprise, surprise, a jeter. Oh, we're cooking. We're cooking. The damage is getting up there now. I'm determined to make this play work with compost, even if it kills me. Which I mean, it wouldn't kill me, but. Yeah, this is a lot of money here. And that's the thing, too, is all that money that we spent on school bag and, and the trinket smelter, you know, it was 30 cents, but if you think about it, we all we need is just one sacrifice room, and all that is instantly back in our inventory. So it, it's, it, is a, it is a very, very soft cost for us to spend money in the shop. Because with Swallow Penny, we can instantly get it back, pretty much. It just takes one one sacrifice room. I'm not even talking about the payout. I'm just saying it just takes one sacrifice room to Swallow Penny. So it's it's a good investment there. I will take the Batwing. Just because we might as well. You demon judgment, don't worry. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be coming back to you in a little bit. Batwing will give us temporary flying for one room at random. Nothing, nothing incredible, but you know, whenever it procs, you're always, you're always just like, huh, that was nice. That was nice to have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got to be careful about the binge eater pedestal. Because it will swap on you as soon as it spawns, and we do not want that. So we get Cricket's Head, permanent damage upgrade here, permanent damage multiplier. We can get another binge eater item here with, with a boomerang, which is exactly what we get. I'm not going to take it, however, because I'm going to wait for us to play the Demon Judgment. Because we don't. the thing is, we don't want to be inefficient with our heals. And using our red hearts to essentially power this entire build is where binge eater is going to shine. I mean, binge eater always shines. But this is just a great synergy and also a really, a really good showcase of an, un an unorthodox synergy that you wouldn't even truly think about with Binge Eater and, uh, and uh, Swallow Penny and, and um, uh, Money Equals Power. It's one of those like synergies that when you see it, you're like, huh, you know what? That's a, that's a good synergy. Yeah, we should get some should get some good charges here. All we got to do is just get rolling with compost. That's all we got to do. 
There you go. So we got the flying here with Batwing. And I am going to take a Soul Heart. And the two Binge Eater Pedestals here. I'm not going to take the other one again. We still need to use the Demon Judgment. Uh, we still have not seen our item room yet either, but we might as well go fight the boss since we're here. Four is a big, big bummer. But we can still get a binge eater item out of it, so. Oh, man. Maw the Void. Maw the Void with binge eater. Good lordy. Okay, so we have another Demon Judgment here. Spawned a second leech. Okay. The dime. Oh, my gosh. Swallow Penny's going ham. Yeah, we take Synth Oil for sure because that's going to contribute towards Spun. And then the quarter does not matter at all. What I think matters is taking Binge Eater and then also taking Maw of the Void. And Binge Eater. So Maw of the Void now with Compost is definitely primed to start really cooking. And because of Maw of the Void, this is just the way that it functions, we are now no longer bound to just our tears rate, which has gained significant traction thanks to Binge Eater. So we really, really, really have a chance to make the compost build work. But again, again, this is this is the this is the problem with compost is that you need all all these things that are going on right now. Oh wow, we got twisted pair from Soul of Lilith. All these things that are going on right now are like mega stretches that you normally would not be able to even think about. And they're all required to make compost work, whereas like other simply other active items just don't need all this involved synergy to to really pop off. So what I'm saying is, to make compost work, it's a high maintenance item. You need it is highly highly dependent on what synergies that you you get with it. So and look at that, we actually get spun. Wow, spun's gonna give us a huge movement speed upgrade, which is something that we needed. Also a nice damage up as well. And uh, go back and. Get our heal from Boomerang. We can also take starter deck. I mean, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't be opposed to it. Here we go. The Hermit card. Oh, nice. Very nice. So you know, again, it's it's a slow moving run here, but I'm I'm excited to see where it goes. I think we're gonna smash the second half of this run. Especially since Binge Eater plus Cricket's body, Cricket's head now, I should say, is uh, is just a, is, it packs a wallop of a combo with damage. Yeah, we're going to start balling out of control here. Yeah, Maw the Void. Maw the Void is going to effectively allow us to protect our spiders and flies and that's what we need i'm not going to take another binge eater item here just because we, we we actually do kind of want to have one soul heart just to protect our uh just to protect ourselves from losing a losing a um losing a devil deal Void, you were you were ready to go there. So we're really da dealing damage from afar here. As you see here, you may notice that we're starting to keep some spiders left over. Slowly but surely, we're getting to that mass. I'm gonna take Binge Eater now just because I want the damage. I mean, we will probably get a devil uh, a devil deal alone on just pure damage here. Because we're gonna kill everything before it even gets a chance to roll. We 
We've got some lingering spiders. Now we're starting to cook. More spiders are starting to appear here because we keep doubling the count. And the funny thing is, we're not even doing this from all the void. It's just straight up our... It's, it's just our damage that's doing this from our, our tiers. And because our shot speed's insane, thanks to Binge Eater. You get the full card. No reason for us not to go in the curse room here. There's our devil deal. I am going to take Little Horn. This little horn's also going to allow us to get even more charges on Binge Eater remotely, essentially. Um, we actually don't need this full card, so I'm going to take the Soul Heart and just pull out. So starting to starting to get kind of exciting, not going to lie. You saw the hairpin there recharge and instantly look at that. Look how many spiders we've got now. It's, it's finally coming together. Especially with the negative here, it's going to add even more damage. Combined with the damage multiplier of Cricket's uh, head. Oh yeah, now is when we start reaping the fruits of our labor. Because now we've gotten to the point where we have that critical mass of spiders that I was talking about for compost to really truly shine with four and a half volt and also with the jumper cables. We do not want, simply do not want Azazel Stump. Thank you. But I love, I love it when a when a plan comes together. It is a is a good feeling. Especially when there was a lot of question marks up early in a run like this where it's like, mm, I don't know. We could abandon it for a, a much better space for item, something that, you know, deals a little bit more direct damage. I don't know. We had a we had a solid plan and uh, we made it work. And now is when we get to we get to basically profit from it. And remember all these spiders are supercharged right now because we've got so much base damage. And now we are at we we have reached self perpetuation when it comes to when it comes to compost here. That's exactly where we want to be. And now we are untouchable. There is there is no enemy in the game that will be able to stand up to this amount of damage. Unless of course we go in the wrong direction, and just don't see any enemies. But that's that's a given. Y'all y'all know how how it be here. You expect anything less? I don't know what to tell you. And remember, every single time we're using compost, it's doubling the remaining spiders and flies. So we can lose half of these of these spiders and flies right now. And if if by some miracle something lives through that, we just respawn the other half that we just got done losing. Look at that! We even get ourselves a fish head. Take Binge Eater here for good old damage upgrade. Give me another one of them. That was real nice. We have an eternal heart, so there's no reason to pick that up. And you see this sort of the it was it was great to see a run like this come to fruition because you know we it's it's one of those rare opportunities where we had a plan and we stuck to it and it worked. I said that I wanted to make compost work. I was I was determined to do it and we did it. The perfect the right amount of items and the right type of items dropped for us to make this work. And it's a really, it's really cool to be able to say like, you know what, stick to your plans. Don't, Justice. don't deviate unless of course you absolutely have to, but you can absolutely make plans work in Isaac. 
Because obviously we have no idea what items are going to drop. We have we have no clue if, if anything is going to come to pass. Are we immune to the fragmented card explosion? Or no, never mind. I'm thinking of the torn card. A oh, fragmented card is going to give us extra uh, secret rooms for exactly one level. There's a demon judgment in there. It'd be great if we got another twisted pair. A D Bizzle, which is totally useless, by the way. No offense to D Bizzle, but uh, yeah. That is one big freaking Isaac circle right there. We lost the devil deal, who cares? You know, we don't need we don't need any devil deals for where we're going. I don't know if you see this or not, but brother, sister, we got ourselves a lot. A lot. That, gonna do that. I'm gonna compost everything on the ground. It's gonna recycle it into, into spiders or flies. And we can actually do a skip here to land, which I'm definitely down for. There's no reason for us to go into shoal. The only reason you could argue, like, maybe because we have fragmented card, but I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big stretch. So no devil deal, no angel deal. No surprise there since we did take damage. And we got plenty of bombs to heal ourselves back up to full. So this is no big deal at all. End up getting, we end up getting D Bizzle anyway. Dark Bomb is actually kind of an anti, anti not synergy, but an anti item for us because we actually want these red hearts. Pro Bombs can heal us back up. There we go. And uh, I mean, we have to tap. Like, this is, this doesn't, I mean, Soul Hearts do literally nothing for us here. Um. This also gets us back into the boss trap room, which can give us potentially another heal. Um, I mean, it will give us another heal because we have binge eater, so. Yeah, we don't need growth hormones here. Just give me the heal. Instant full charge on compost. You love to see it. And the thing is, we don't even have to worry about healing ourselves back to full before going to the dark chest because the dark chest item pedestals are going to also be binge eater items, so we can just heal off of those. And oh mama, what a run. I mean to actually take that, but you gotta be so careful with these binge eater pedestals and anything any of the pedals of that like flip flop like this, they you just be careful because you'll accidentally end up taking something inadvertently that you don't want to, and it's going to screw you out of taking the thing that you did want. Oh, soul buddy, check him out now. All right, all right, lost soul buddy, see what you got. You're seeing the instant activation here from compost. And the other, if you're wondering where we got these extra item room or our secret rooms because of fragmented card. Answers. And yeah, just a solid, very fun run. Very, very fun. It, it did take a while to get going, uh, but at the end of the day, I think that this was one of our most accomplished and fun runs that we've had in a while. Uh, because, again, given the Pyromaniac start, we didn't really have much to even kind of consider. But since since destroying everything and saying, you know what, instead of going the standard route here, we're going to go for something, some, more, some kind of a plan here. Um, and we stuck to it. That was great. I loved it. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, starting uh, well, starting yesterday, we're doing the question of the episode now. Except you all get to ask me the questions. The most upvoted comments that get uh, that ask a question that stays on point with Isaac will be read and answered. 
on next week's episode. So this week is not going to have anything because obviously it needs to be a week for us to go get those questions, but that gives you ample time to type them out in the comments section below and I'll start checking them out. And uh, when the time comes for it next week, starting on next Sunday, uh, we're going to be reading them. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did click the like button and as always, I'll see you all next time until then. So long everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like All Day Ode, Plots Callan Cansony, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.